Welcome to my very first episode of Dropbox, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you all a general overview of Dropbox. Coming up next. So here we are in Dropbox. And as you see here, I have Dropbox opened up on the web. Now, let me give you a little bit of an idea of what Dropbox is. Dropbox is a very good program if you want to sync your files from one computer to another computer to even your smartphone and keep them all in sync when you make changes or just to have the file if you ever need the file. Dropbox is probably the best at doing just that where you can share files, you can uh, download files to another computer. Uh, you can just have only one copy. You know, many, many years ago when I was um, doing a lot of different uh, Word docs and Word Excel programs and um, all kinds of different um, files that I was editing, I would have a file on my desktop. I would also have a copy of it on my laptop and I'd have a copy here and a copy there and the problem was so when I made a change on one I'd have to put it on a thumb drive or email it to myself so I could put it on the other computer it was getting kind of crazy I was having to have more than one version of a file and so Dropbox kind of just took all of that away basically because I can just have one version of it I can work on it anywhere if I have an Excel file that I need to work on at home, I just upload it to Dropbox and I, that's just the home of that Excel file. And I can basically uh, work on that file at work or I can work on it, um, you know, even on my smartphone. Uh, so it is a very good program if you are interested in syncing your files between your desktop computer, your laptop, your phone or what have you. Now, with that being said, you need to come up with some sort of file structure in order to keep yourself organized on Dropbox. And in these coming episodes of Dropbox Learning the Basics, I'm going to be going over different things within Dropbox that you can utilize to make your productivity a lot better. Now, here in Dropbox on the web here, I, I'm showing you my account that I have. Now, of course, when you sign up for Dropbox, you do get a free account. Dropbox is free to sign up for. But a lot of the cool features and a lot of the um, better features, I guess you could say, is in the premium version. Now, that is what I have here, and that is what is, I'm going to be showing you all is uh, my Dropbox with the premium version. Now, you know, the free and the premium, I guess I could show you the differences of, of that. Uh, one of the biggest differences with the premium version is you get a lot more space, so to speak, in the cloud uh, to be able to um, have transferring from one computer to another computer. And, and let's just say that Dropbox is basically a cloud type of um, program. Now, here in Dropbox on the web here, you see I have this thing called home here. I also have all where my files lay right here. I also have sharing. I have file requests and deleted files if I ever need to access my deleted files. Now, under my files here, you'll see that I have several different uh, files as well as folders under here. And basically, you can share anything here by just clicking on the share button. You also got these little dots over here, which you can add comments, you can star it, you can see the version history. Uh, you can rename them, move them, copy and delete them. But one of the other cool things about Dropbox is you don't always have to access it here on the web. 
when you install Dropbox on your desktop or your laptop, uh, you will be getting a, um, a file here that will be up here in your uh, display. Now, of course, here we are on the Mac, and so it's going to be a little bit different than on the PC, but you do get uh, this icon up here. And in this icon, you can see everything that has been uh, my most recent uh, files that have synced. Also in this notification thing here, you also have over here the open Dropbox paper. You can also open Dropbox on the web. You can also open up your file Dropbox folder that's in your file structure on your local hard drive. And then here is also your Dropbox settings. So if you were to open up Dropbox folder here, if you look here, you'll see that you have Dropbox on your local hard drive. So basically when you create a file or create a folder in your Dropbox on your local hard drive, it will sync to Dropbox on the web and it'll put it into the web area here for which then your laptop or your work computer if you have Dropbox installed there will then sync that file and download it from the web onto that computer so you have the correct version on all computers. This is the cool thing about Dropbox. Also within the Dropbox, it operates just like on the, on the desktop in your file structure here. It operates just like any other file in your computer. The only difference is, is other files in your computer will not have a check mark because they're not synced in Dropbox. The only thing that's synced on Dropbox file server is the Dropbox folder and everything within the Dropbox. Whether that be folders that you create or files that you create will all lie within Dropbox. Now, another cool thing about Dropbox is you can also pause syncing. Now, I do know that with certain programs like Quicken, when you go to, if you wanted to have your Quicken data file saved on Dropbox so you can access your Quicken file everywhere, whether that be on your desktop or on your laptop, if you have to back up your Quicken file, you do need to pause Dropbox while it backs up that Quicken file. Just a handy little tidbit for you. After that happens, you can always start up the syncing process on Dropbox to resync the file. Now, that is a basic overview of Dropbox. Now, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Also, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, I want to wish you a great day and let's be more productive. Thank you.